Real Estate Pro Talk with your host, Greg Ernie. Connecting people, community and property. Well, hello, Greg Ernie here. Welcome to Real Estate Pro Talk. Uh, today is a it's, a, it's an exciting topic for me because um, for people that are looking to get into real estate and maybe starting a new career or, or, or a shift, um, it's always interesting. And one of the questions is, well, what's it like to be in a real estate agent? Because it's, I guess we, um, uh, we appear in videos and we, uh, our properties are on, on the internet or our faces are on the internet and so forth, but what's it actually like to be an estate agent? I know many people out there, especially with COVID-19 and what uh, happened last year, um, you may actually be considering a career change. I know many people in the travel industry, especially, uh, and also in the hospitality industry, uh, obviously their careers have well and truly been turned upside down. And perhaps you're sitting at home, it's, um, it's February, it's uh, 2021, and you're thinking, well, what is this year going to, um, to look like? So today I'm, um, I'm absolutely thrilled to be able to have um, one of our, I'll call newer team members, but um, Carolyn Cheong. Welcome, Carolyn. Thank you, Greg. Um, Carolyn, um, great to have you in. You've, um, you joined us how long ago? Oh, coming up for two years. So two years, or yeah. just, just coming up for two yeah. years, never have done real estate before. What did you do prior to real estate? Um, I've done a lot of hospitality um, around having you know, children, so working part-time. And then my husband and I had a cafe for nearly five years um, immediately prior to this, yep. so yeah. and that um, that cafe was literally just Across almost opposite our yep. um, our office. Yep. So real estate's a, a massive change, and I guess the purpose today, Caroline, with with this chat is for you know there'll, as I said, there'll be people that are maybe sitting at home and they're they're considering a career change, and they're thinking maybe I could get into into real estate. Maybe it could be property management. It could be sales. Obviously, you went down the sales um, path. Um, but I remember when I actually first met you for, or when I came in, obviously you'd served as coffees over the years, yeah. but I actually didn't know when it was you coming in for the interview or when I was coming in and I walked in. And as soon as I met you, I'm like, I, I didn't even really have to do the interview because your customer service that you had done over the years had, had proven, I'm like, you will be absolutely fine in real estate because, because of what you've done in the past. But my question is, um, what draw you, what, what was the attraction to real estate for you? Um, I'd wanted to do real estate for probably 20, 25 years prior to um, coming into it. And I suppose I just probably never thought it was quite the time. Um, and after we sold the cafe, I thought, yep, now's the time. My kids were at that age and I thought, right, it's my time. Yep. You know, I'd, I wanted to do it forever and I thought, I don't want to one day go, gee, I wish I had given real estate a go. So. And I think you're, I think you're right. I mean, it, it's... Um, real estate is the hours and, and the commitment and mm -hmm. it's not one of those jobs you can just do nine to five and go home and switch off. As I say to people, a lot of the work we have to do is when people aren't working. So when, yes. they're, when they're finished their daily work, well, that's where we'll do evening appointments and be showing houses and presenting offers and, and various yeah. things. So yeah. um, it can be certainly very tough when you've got a young family and yeah. your kids have obviously all grown up and are, yep. and are more at an somewhat. age yeah. somewhat yeah. <laughs> yeah but they're more at an age now where yep. you've got a bit more of that time and, and you're able to actually Correct. um to yep. do what um what what's needed to be done so um so yeah you ran you ran the cafe and, and what was the what was the trigger that you thought now now now's that time i really don't know yep yeah yep I just, just my kids were 16, 17, and I thought, okay, they're not dependent on me now. And I, I, I didn't want to go into it years ago and not be able to give it the commitment that I think it, des it needs and deserves. Yes. So I think I just thought, yep, now's my time. Yep. So, yep. yeah. Yep. And um, so if we, if we look at it, what you, you've now coming up for two years in, what you thought and perceived a real estate agent does mm -hmm. and what you actually do, does it match or was there some differences? Um, some fairly big differences, yeah. yeah. Um, I love I love customer service and that's why, you know, I've had years in hospitality and I know I'm great at that. Yep. Um, the other side of it is the, the knockbacks and, the, you know, you have to develop an incredible resilience in this industry. Yep. Um, but so that, that's probably the part that I've found the most challenging, not the hours, not the 
you know, the great side of it when you sell someone's house or, or you sell to a lovely young couple or whatever, that's beautiful. Yes, yep, yeah. But, and, I, and I think probably, and I know you probably won't want to bring this up, but the results, so for anyone that starts in real estate, I always say to people, your first probably 18 months to two years is probably your hardest. Mm. You're probably going to come in, you're probably going to have to work as hard as you've ever worked to build your own um, brand, to get your name out there and to start to get some traction and your results have been exceptional along the way, considering you'd never done real estate before and you've had to learn the, the, the call it the trade or the craft of selling a home. But, but I, I think the reason your results have been so good is simply coming back to what I found when you worked at the coffee shop is that you, you actually genuinely care about your clients and the yeah. way that you look after um, people. And um, I say to anyone that starts in real estate, it, it takes two years for you to build a reputation. And after two years, depending on the reputation you've built, will, will be the determining factor whether your career is gonna go up or whether your career will go down. And by that, what I mean is that if you've looked after your clients really well, um, have achieved really good sales, communicated, kept them informed, and have and have left a trail of happy clients, mm -hmm. that'll catch up to you. Your, your reputation will precede you and you'll continue to do really well. Yes. Which is what's happened in your case with your results. but. It, if, if someone came in and they didn't call back and they, what I call, leave a trail of destruction, mm -hmm. after two years, um, their reputation will well and truly catch up to them and they won't won't succeed in real estate. So you actually won this year, um, our professionals, mm -hmm. our company rookie of the year. Yes. Um, and and that's, a, that's a, a massive achievement in itself. And I know for you, like a, that was a, a real highlight and a, a thrill. It was a very big honour. Yeah. I, I cried at the time, which I sort of look back and go, that was a bit embarrassing at but, the Christmas party. But, but I don't think you should be embarrassed because what, what it shows to me is that you care. I'm so and, and, proud. Yeah, and it just shows how much because I, I know the I know the energy that it that it takes to go from, you know, in essence just starting and learning um, and to come in and, and just the commitment that it's taken. So to achieve mm -hmm. that was was awesome. So um, so that's why I thought today was it's real you know, great to have you on so that anyone else that's considering real estate can look at it and go, you know what? I reckon I could be the next Caroline and I think I've got what it takes because a lot of people, um, and I'd be interested on your thoughts on this, I think have the perception that I need to be a salesperson. But I, I, I believe our business, what makes our team so great is that, and I say it to people all the time, our salespeople actually aren't salespeople. They're, they're just nice people that happen to, to love what they do and sell homes, Correct. and to me, that's what makes the best salespeople. Not the, not the on the mobile phone and the slick hairdo sort of um, sort I of agree. person. I agree. Yeah. What What do you like? Tell Tell me about the role that that you like. Um, well, I've always. I mean, that's probably why I've had a history in um, hospitality. Probably why we bought the cafe because I love, um, I love looking after customers. I love making people happy. Um, I had a customer on the phone cry to me the other day because they were, it was probably a result I didn't quite expect, but they, she was crying on the phone going, you're amazing, you know, I love that. Yep. And then to ring the buyers and tell them, yeah, you've got your house, that that's my favourite part of, of the job. Yep. Um, the, you know, the hours, they're all right. I mean, I don't, we did worse hours in the cafe. Yep. So I think, yep. you know, most people are pretty good. They'll be flexible. So... Um, yeah, I just love that people side of it. That's so, so it's interesting, the the hours that you were doing in the cafe were, were put it, use your oh, word, were, were worse hours or much longer so. hours mm -hmm. than the, and, and probably, I mean, obviously with COVID, we've all been working from home and various things, we're starting to come back into the office now. But um, I, I think that's one of the beauties of, of real estate is you can work local. Yeah. Um, not that anyone's really having to work in the city at the moment, for any job but you know the beauty is you are local you're working in your community yep. um you know if you need to go on your kids are, are a bit older now but still if you need to go and see them or you need to go here or there you've got that that flexibility yes um yep. but then obviously there are the the different hours and, and evenings and various things as well but um yeah, it's interesting that you yeah. say that um and obviously the the earning capability for real estate and knowing not knowing how the cafe went, but the possibilities for what real estate is far outweighs than the cafe. I Absolutely. would imagine. Absolutely, yeah. Um, yep. And um, as you say, you, I'm sure you would get a different reward making people's coffee, but when you're getting the the reward of 
of people. Oh, it's the biggest thing they'll do in their life and, and we get to be a part of it. So yes. it's yeah. amazing. Yep. Yep. Um, so outside of real estate, what do you do to, you know, the, the, to keep yourself fresh and, and um, on, on top of your game? Um, well, during COVID and, and during the last year, we've been doing a lot of renos on our house. Yep. Um, thinking about maybe selling, don't know. Yeah, yeah. Um, I like bush walking. I like um, gardening, um, tennis, yep. those sort of things. Yep. So yeah, anything good. sort of outdoors, like, you know. Yeah, and I think that's important. I, I, you know, um, I know for me personally, just I, I love getting out on the mountain bike and, mm. you know, it's you get the fresh air into your lungs and you're out in the bush and out, outside. So I think whatever it is, but that it's probably one thing real estate does do is it certainly makes you value your time off Absolutely. more when you when you get it and you make sure you can cram and as much in it as you can to keep yourself uh, fresh and to be able to switch off from um, from time to time. And yeah. Um, I know you're really big on training and, and, and call it self-development. What, mm -hmm. what do you do there? Um, well, that's one thing I love about working for the professionals is the amount of training that we do. Um, so I've sort of taken that. I, I listen to the thing called the Mindset Mentor. Yep. I listen to it every single day. It's yep. just a thing on Spotify. And I find that for me is, you know, that's probably one of the most challenging things being new in real estate is getting your mindset right when you get the knockbacks and that sort of thing. Yep. So I find um, that to be the most important thing. Yep, it's it's almost, um, it's like overcoming that, that self-doubt sort mm -hmm. of thing that, you know, because when you, if you miss a listing or you work really hard to get a sale together and then the buyer buys a different property and, can be like oh like it, mm. it can be really draining so how you pick yourself up off the call it off the carpet and Absolutely. and and keep going mm -hmm. and and you mentioned that word before resilience yeah. and i think that's that's the most important thing and you got to have that that bigger picture just to keep on keep Absolutely. on going and your clients want you to keep on going too you know those, those owners that you're selling they want you just to keep going and yeah um yeah and look that's probably one of the things that i think a lot of people get into real estate and after six or 12 months don't succeed is they haven't, they're probably not, um, can't cope with that, that knockback mm -hmm. or they don't quite have the resilience or whatever just to push through. Yeah. There's a saying I have with everything is um, just when you're about to quit it is when you're about to succeed. And I think so many people I've seen over the years have perhaps, this is not just real estate, but in any industry have perhaps um, quit something but it was. But if they yeah. had have just pushed through and gone that little bit more, they would have. Um, they, they would They're have broken through. There. And I, yep. I reckon, and I've got no doubt. And I think for anyone that, any yeah. agent that I think it, when they started in real estate, if you ask them, did you ever have any doubts or did you ever, you know, at some point think, God, this is too hard. I might get out. I reckon every estate agent mm. would say, you know what? At some point, in fact, many points I've had times where yeah. I think, God, there must be something easier. Yeah. But that's why probably when you won that Rookie of the Year, you, it was like. I'm actually, I'm actually doing it, and I'm doing, you know, bloody well. Yeah, so, yeah, but, yeah. Um, and I think that was probably at the start of, at the start, I, I probably did find it more challenging than I had expected it to be. Yes, yeah. um, it can be lonely but, too. Yeah, you know, I yeah. know you're in a, obviously we're a team-based business. Last year was a little bit different because we were working a fair bit from home. But, you know, at the end of the day, even with the team there and the support, you, you are at the end of the day, the results are on you. Yes, you know, yeah. the, the, you look in the mirror each day, and it's it's on mm -hmm. on you to what you're going to do and um, probably one question I wanted to ask is why did you choose you could have selected any real estate agency to work for what was the main reason that you that you chose to work with our group for the professionals yep um, well I, I had got gotten to know a few of the staff here from having the cafe us, just across coffee, the road I know yep. but I just found everyone I met from the professionals to be very real like not a salesperson, just a good person who's good at sales yep. um, and I just want to be a part of that. I yeah. mean, I think the re uh, real estate industry has got a bit of a bad reputation for, you know, the slick um, real estate agents. And I'm not like that. I don't want to be like that. And yeah. I, I think that was my perception of, of the professionals. Yeah. Um, they've got an amazing name in the area. And I thought, wow, if I can start there, that would be like starting at the top. Yeah. You know? yeah, yeah, and, yeah. and it is. It's lived up to that. Well, so. and certainly you've lived up to what? we want as far as our team members as well. So mm -hmm. um, I, I'll probably, and I, I know you won't mind me saying this, but if anyone is considering 
getting into real estate, they can give you a call. You, you, you work out yep. of our Lilydale office. We'll put the phone number up on the screen and yep. um, look to to be come out for two years. You're at what I call the um, the, the you, you've done the hard yards now. You well and truly know how to manage manage um, a sale for an owner, and, and I call it manage because it is it's it's you know it's it's like a show that you that you're doing, and um, uh, you know you, your repeat and referral clients already are a testimonial to you know it's a credit to you, and um, yeah, I just think anyone that's considering real estate contact Carolyn she'd love to have a chat you can certainly contact me and um, um, yeah it's been an absolute pleasure thank you Greg and, and probably it a highlight yeah it's and it's a highlight for me because I know um, what I love is to see when new people come in and that because I know the, the the yards and how hard it is and to see you getting to the point now and I can already see you your career really starting to take off. It's an absolute credit. And as I say, it's a real highlight for thank me. You. So, thank you. So well, thank th you. I, I appreciate the opportunity to have a great job. So, <laughs> Pleasure. Carolyn, you're an absolute star. Thank you for joining us on Real Estate Pro you're Talk. Welcome. And to finish off, is anyone is thinking of a career in real estate, as I say, contact us anytime. We're always looking for, uh, for people that are energetic and keen and just want to be able to help people. And um, uh, this is, um, yeah, you're welcome to contact us anytime. So thanks for watching Real Estate Pro Talk. Thank thanks, you. Caroline. Thank you.